I love necklaces with an adjustable clasp. I love them, I love them, I love them. Oh my word, I love them. I put them on almost all my necklaces that I make. I just think they're fabulous. I especially put them on when I am making a friend a necklace so they can adjust their necklace according to how short or long they want it. And they're just perfect, even if you're just making it for yourself. What if you need a necklace that has to be really close to your neck or an outfit that needs to be long? The, the adjustable clasp is such a perfect clasp for that kind of situation. So today I'm gonna teach you what you're gonna need to do in order to make a necklace with an adjustable clasp. So let's get started. So in order to do a necklace that has an adjustable clasp, this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need your tools, of course. You're gonna need your cutter tools. You're gonna need your pliers, your long nose and your round nose pliers. And then, of course, your beads that you want wire. I have a 0.46 gauge for this one, so it's a bit thicker wire than a 0.3. I also, you're going to need chain. You're going to need chain. And I, for every adjustable clasp, I always use a lobster clasp. So the lobster clasp with your split ring on it already. Now, when you pick your chain, make sure the links are big enough that your lobster clasp can go through. Cause I have, without trying it out, I have put on a chain that my lobster clasp could not go through. So make sure that the links are big enough for your lobster clasp to go through because that's the whole point of this necklace. So it can be any chain. It can be any chain. It could be a chain from an old necklace that you don't anymore that you just cut, cut, chop up. It could be a chain from a store that is just, you buy the chain that you want or, wherever, but I use all different kinds of chains from different necklaces, from different places. I love chain chains, one of my favorite things I use for necklaces. So first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna, of course, make your pattern for your necklace, I already have, and you're going to string it along the wire, which I already have for you as well, and then you're gonna put your clasp on. So what you do, you're going to get your, oh, you're also gonna need, ha ha ha, your, your crimping bead. Crimping beads important for this. Get your crimping bead on. Get your lobster clasp on. And then you're going to make a loop around the lobster clasp or around the split ring that's attached to the lobster clasp. And then you're gonna put it through your crimping bead. So what you have here, you got your, it through your crimping bead, make sure that there is enough leeway for your lobster clasp to move. And then you're gonna crimp with the long nose pliers, the crimping bead. Yeah, man. And then of course you do not wanna cut this, never cut it because if you cut it to the crimping bead, then most likely your necklace will fall apart, but you're gonna wanna put it back through that extra wire back through your beads. And if, even if you just threw one bead, you, you've done enough. And so I'm like, eh, one bead's fine. One bead's fine. Cut it. And then you're going to make sure that there's no gap from here to here, from this, from this crimping bead to this bead. And then you're gonna cut enough. See, I don't like to cut the length that I want. I like to already, I like to string it and it still be attached to my wire spool um, because uh, I feel I don't waste as much wire. So then I'm gonna cut it. Uh, so I feel like I have enough, I have enough wire and I feel like I'm comfortable enough that I can get it through the crimping bead and the clap well actually in this case the chain so you're gonna take your crimping bead that's right you're taking your crimping bead you're going to put the one of the ends of the chain on there and you're going to in this case get it pretty close to your bead you're gonna loop it around your chain and put it through your crimping bead Now, of course, oh. now of course you want enough give for your wire connected to your chain. You want your chain to have give, but also you don't want a lot of gap between your crimping bead and your bead. So you're going to make sure there's not a lot of gap and there's not a big loop. So you're gonna 
hold on to the chain and pull your wire. I like that. I like it a lot. And I'm going to crimp it. I'm going to crimp my crimping bead. Ah. So, yay, look at that. Love it. And if you have too much chain, you can cut it, of course. Or, but you have your wire. You don't want to, again, cut it to the crimping bead. You want to put it back through your bead. And that is what I'm going to do. Put it through your bead. Put it through as many beads as you want. At least one. Sometimes I do it as many beads as possible with how long the wire is. So I see my little wire poking out. I'm going to pull. So I'm going to cut it. Yeah. And that is how you make an adjustable clasp. Well, what'd you think on how to make an adjustable clasp? Wasn't that easy? And once you do an adjustable clasp, most likely you'll never go back. Well, okay, you probably will, but you may be just as addicted as I am about making a necklace with an adjustable clasp. I love it. I love simple tricks. I love simple tips. And this is no exception to the rule. This was so simple. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up, comment, share, do what you gotta do. But I do videos twice a week. Yes, I do. I do videos twice a week. So if you want to subscribe, click right here. And if you want to see other of my videos, you can go here and you can go here. But that's all I got. If you want to make suggestions on what kind of necklace or what kind of technique you want me to do next and please comment below but that's it i love you guys and i'll talk to you later bye